Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to modify array data with indexes. Uh, so unlike strings, the entries of arrays are mutable and can be changed freely. So we have an example, our array is equal to this 50, 40, 30, and at zero, at, pos at our array position zero, we have 15. So you notice here it's setting this valuable value. It's setting the array at the zero place to 15. And so now our array is equal to 15, 40, 30. 15, 40, 30. There shouldn't be any spaces between the array and the bracket. So they're just saying that there shouldn't be a space in here. Although JavaScript is able to process this correctly, this may confuse programmers reading your code. Yeah, don't do that. Modify the data stored at index zero of my array to value 45. So here we have my array, which is 18, 64, and, 40, and 99. And what we want to do is set the position zero. So we want to change the number 18 in this array to be 45. And so we would just go, um, my array at position zero is equal to 45. Now, if we console.log um, my array, we should see my array post modification. Now you see how it's 45, 64, and 99? It used to be 18, 64, and 99. Let's say if we copy this line and we say pre pre-modification. If we look here, we can see that here, it was 18, 64, 99, 18, 64, 99. So what we've done is printed it out to the console here, and then as it's gone down, we've changed the first element, which was 18 to 45, and then we've printed it out again. All these console logs are unimportant. All you have to do is actually just set it to 45, and that should pass the test. And so if I run the test, it should pass. Okay, cool. Hope this was helpful. See you guys in the next lesson.